in a year filled with questions. The World Health Organization today declared COVID-19 epidemic a pandemic. A year Since filled with change. Words don't do justice for how much we've seen. It's more than 100,000 acres burned since yesterday. Where sentences come short, art helps emotions come to life. Yeah, art makes things palatable. Art gives us access to issues that we, we may not have known much about before. At Redline Contemporary Art Center, the colors, the shapes, the topics tell the story of this past year through the eyes of students from Denver and Aurora. Art is the great equalizer in allowing people access, access to conversation, access to community, access to stories, and what better way to grow? JC Futrell yeah. runs so the show. Gonna, oh, there you are. Yeah, I thought you had left. Yay! <laughs> but you guys have given them an opportunity to have a voice and talk about things that matter, so thank you so much. Pairing professional artists with students to create art based on social justice issues. We want the middle to be the focal point, right? This past year saw no shortage of inspiration. This is kind of like personal. When protests against police brutality erupted last summer. Yes, it has. It has been a crazy year. 13-year-old Deviante Rogers found inspiration for his art. This is meant to be positive to every race, every color, you know, to bring no one down. I want everyone, if they look at it, you know, just have a smile on their face. This past year has been insane. It's very like eye-opening and showing like a lot of things people go through. For 14-year-old Chloe Price. I think there's a lot of detail in the eyes and it shows like a lot of emotion within her. Portraits of women from around the world help tell a story of representation and inequality. A lot of people of color have to do go through a lot of things in the, like every day. And so I wanted to kind of show like a bunch of beautiful women and how no matter what, they are very powerful and very strong. It amazes me sometimes how like how great she is. Roberto Baez found his inspiration in his mother. So basically this is a quote of my mom where she says, our system is tearing many other families apart. Fighting to stay in the country while seeking sanctuary, he drew a picture of his mom's organization. Sanctuary for All helps people in her same position get food and make money. When I think of the past right now, everything that I've gone through with my mother, sometimes it's just crazy. Like, she's fought so hard. And the fact that I've been through it all with her, it amazes me. Yeah, I'm just finishing one of the rocks right now just to make like this whole part pop out a little. With every stroke, a memory of this past year is translated to canvas. Like it takes my mind off of things and after that have a good mindset and stuff. And it's really inspiring to see that this kind of artwork, this kind of energy, this kind of creative outlet uh, it was something that was done by students that have been sitting at home, not able to interact with others. Black Lives Matter! In a gallery full of art. The governor announcing a stay-at-home order for the entire state going into effect at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Creativity tells the story of a time of change. It's been a year, hopefully we won't have one like it again, and we learn from what we took from this year that we learn and we grow from what we take from this year. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, Nine News.